Good evening. Welcome to Music and Musings. Thank you for joining us tonight. Again, our desire is to be able to help you somehow prepare for tomorrow, the Lord's Day. So let us show you first the scriptures, the readings for tomorrow, and then we will be right back with a short reflection. gospel for tomorrow is from Matthew chapter 13 and Jesus talks about there uh, about the parable of the wheat and the tares and he says that son of man uh, sows good seed wheat see everything comes from God is good nothing evil comes from him it is, it is uh, the devil that sows the tares, that sows uh, evil. We cannot blame God for bad things that happen. Let me say that again. We cannot blame God for bad things that happen. He doesn't do it. What he does is turn bad things around so that they may become good. But the Son of Man, Jesus, sows good seed always he jesus the son of the son of god the second person in the trinity was the active agent in creation he was he was the active agent in creation and everything that was created by god was good i want to emphasize that everything that god created was good it is the enemy, it is the devil who has been given free will as well, the enemy who sows bad seed, who sows the tares, who sows evil in the world. Let us not ascribe to God any bad thing. Only good comes from Him. So I want to establish that. And He owns everything as well. And so He won't allow everything that he owns to be destroyed they may they may be affected for a while by the, the tears the bad seeds that the devil sows but eventually he will restore everything because he hates nothing that he has created so <clears throat> there will be a process you know there's a time of of uh, restoring things but ultimately in the end is the restoration of all things. When the angels, uh, the, the, the uh, workers in the field saw that after God has sown good seed, that there were also uh, tares alongside them, they said, who has, they asked, who has done this? And the sower said, God said, an enemy has done this. Evil in the world is not the doing of God. It's the doing of the enemy. Let us not blame him for bad things. The only thing that he does about evil things is he turns them around. He causes all things to work together for good, for our good. Not his good, because he's the ultimate good, but for our good. Let us always remember that. But the angels in their maybe in their zeal, in their desire to keep everything good, they asked the sower, should we pull out the tares? And the sower said, no, because they're, they're among the wheat, they're attached to the wheat, and if you, you uh, uproot them, you might affect the good seed as well, the wheat as well. Let them be for a while. Give them uh, a time to uh, period, and then there will come a time when there will be uh, cleansing and restoration. I don't believe that 
those who are the, the children of God who uh, went uh, wayward will be condemned for eternity. I believe God will reach the farthest corners of the universe to restore them, to uh, put them back in the, the place of goodness as was their creation. Because our God is good, He's the ultimate good, and He will restore all things to good. That's our confidence. But recognize that there is evil among us. And let us work with Him, with His angels, uh, so that at, when the fullness of time comes, then the restoration of all things to their goodness. Remember, everything God created was good. The devil did not create anything. He only perverts that which was created by God that was good. So he, in his malice, in his envy, he perverts them. God is so much more powerful. And eventually, we look for the restoration of all things, resurrection of all things that have died, and the life of the world to come. That is our blessed hope. Let us not give it up, but build up our faith toward that and work with God and His angels toward that end. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, God is so good, and may we have put that in your heart as you prepare for tomorrow's worship. God bless you. We will see you again next week on Music and Musings.